What's good everybody, EDM Adam here, back for another week of the Weekly React series. Uh, not that great of a week, just on paper. Uh, we've got Dead Mouse and a few others, but not a huge week. I'm a little short on time, might only do 10 songs, let's get into it. a melodic bass ballad I'd imagine. Wow, I like that lead. I like the melody. I don't know if it the impact that I want out of a melodic bass track, but I've heard so many, so it's kind of hard to tell when it starts to get old versus if you would have liked it two or three years ago, you know? Really nice musicality to it, with her on the vocals. Yeah, it's nicely produced. Stylistically, it's getting a bit old, though. There's only so many, you know, kind of upbeat melodies with like the halftime, kind of big impact drums. I don't know. Let's see a little bit more creativity off of that. That's not the fucking song I selected. Alright, some team ass. Bill feels a little lackluster. Drop delivered though. It's a decent trap track. I don't know if it's gonna stand out. It's a Nodiker. Getting a little more bassy. Getting a little bit of an Enzo vibe. Nice. Yeah, him and Enzo should do a collab. Yeah, I'm loving this art. Fat 80s drums. Bro, this Nightmare Slander, good vibration, does not want to stay on. This is nice. Yeah, I feel like kind of like a chill, spacey, Kind of almost wubby track. That's that's nice. His attention to detail is always there too. Percussion's always solid. All right, I'll likely be too late to get a Kawachi EP out, so let's check out the self-titled EP song skins. Damn. Just really out of nowhere. I don't know, I think I like voice better. I know, obviously, Better Off Alone's the best off the, the album or the EP. Everybody's been hyped about skins, it's not bad. I don't think it has quite the, the touch that voice does, if we're comparing them head to head, but it's all subjective. I do like how, Right before all this violence, you get that out of nowhere descending to signal the drop. All right, Imanu and Leah. This sounds like Imanu. Those chords. 
I don't know exactly what's in the cord, so to speak, but it just sounds on brand. Reminds me, is it gasping for air? No, I think it's furry, my bad. I like the drumsticks clicking together in the background. It's a nice texture to have. Pretty upbeat for a four on the floor feel, you know? This is a tad quick. Yeah, it's like, it's like one, almost 140. I like it. It's got a cool atmosphere on it. Flux, Circus Records. A little bit of a different sound. Just in terms of like the sound design, but nothing crazy. Kind of a chill halftime. The vocal tag in the background I think could be a little louder or like switched up a little bit, but I love that offbeat kick in the build. Yeah, I don't know how memorable that's gonna be though, long term. All right, do we do the whole nine minute journey? It feels kind of cheap not to, but video length. Where have we heard that kick before? It's good. Dry, punchy. It's a nice touch. Yeah, I mean, one of his classic nine minute works of art doesn't really lend itself great to a reaction video, but this is definitely worth the listen. Do I think it'll do as well commercially? No, but that, that's the last of his intentions. You know, usually when you get the vocalist and there's some lyrics to accompany the long drawn out progressions, it does a lot better, but. All right, Bonnie X Clyde in too deep. Nice. Really rich, full sound. I don't know if I like pitching her voice lower right before the drop. It's a long way from bass jam, but I can get behind this more kind of like deep house vibe. With her voice, you know, it kind of lends a nice vocal performance on it. Don't care for the snare build. Damn. Yeah, the dynamics are really, really there. I feel like, I feel like the build could have brought that in a little more smoothly, but. All right, apparently this is the best off the EP, according to the Peanut Gallery. Okay, I can see why. Nice. Yeah, that, that wall of bass on the release with that quarter note triplet lead coming in here. Dark. Nice. For somebody who I've, at least from what I've listened to, has been a lot more like upbeat, happy-go-lucky drum and bass. If we want to call it that, it felt a lot darker. Now you need, we need a Reaper collab. Yeah, this is a definite ad. Good call. All right, bit of a shorter week. Uh, not as exciting as every week, but uh, what are you gonna do? Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. I still gotta decide on Song of the Week, not 100% sure. This is a Song of the Week. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all soon.